Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. This is the number one DT28 smartwatch. Uh, we um, did a review on this one, a rather extensive one of a um, prototype, which wasn't quite working up to par at the time, but was supposed to be updated. Well, it has been updated. This watch is being marketed as an ECG watch. On the back, it has the metal plates that we've seen before on ECG watches, along with the diode and all the electronics for doing uh, PPG, heart, uh, weight, heart rate and uh, blood pressure. When you get into this, you get to a panel that says it's ECG. Everything looks fine that it would take an ECG reading and even, even in the app, produce an ECG chart right here in ECG detection. Now, we went through, set this whole thing up. Let me show you that one more time. This is important. We go in here to the ECG, access this, and unlike the others we've seen where you have to touch the case with your other arm or hand so that you create an electrical circuit through your heart, this watch apparently is able to do it simply by touching the screen. Now the two electrical plates are on my body. My finger is pressing on the screen. It's beginning to take a reading. And there you go. There's the heart wave chart starting on the app. It goes and it goes and it's continuous for about 30 seconds. It's producing a um, heart rate for me as a computation. And all I have to do is hold my finger on the, the face of the watch until it's done. And supposedly, I'm getting a heart wave that I could use for checking out the condition of my heart, perhaps sending it to my doctor for analysis, and overall, heart health. Okay, should be just about done. Does it for 30 seconds, and then it stops. I want to run it all the way out because I want to show you the total. It says, to the app. Here's the app. View the report. There's the report. Everything looks okay, right? Well, a couple of things. Check it out. It's exactly the same heart rate chart. Look at it. I mean, it's skewed a little bit, and it's going from here to here to here. There's no deviation whatsoever. Every wrinkle, every mound, every dip is exactly the same. It's being repeated as if it were just being generated from a picture. Wait, there's more. I don't need to talk anymore. I just need this, a napkin, this, the watch, this, the app, or the watch, the app. I'm going to retest, and I'm going to press my finger here, activate it, begin. Now, an ECG requires an electrical contact through the heart of the person testing. I have one finger touching the screen of this watch. It's sitting on a napkin on the floor. The electrical plates are behind. The only circuit I have, the only connection is the tip of my finger. However, on the app, as before, exactly the same chart being produced in ECG detection. I'm getting a valid heart rate, a valid heart wave chart, and all I'm doing is pressing on the screen. If I take my finger off, it'll interrupt it. But that's the only because I took my finger off. So what's actually going on inside the watch? Well, I took the screws off so we could find out. Apparently there's a ribbon cable connecting to all the goodies here on the back. And when we lift this off, we reveal these connections here and here touching to the electric plates so there is an electrical signal potential there's all the diodes and stuff in the middle for your heart rate uh, optical there is electronics there it's it's hooked up but it's certainly not working i really really hope it's just a matter of tweaking and getting this thing operational. Folks, I can't stand behind this. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a firmware update. It operates exactly the same. 
It's doing it without any human connection, and I'm getting what could be considered valid data that somebody could be basing some decisions on. And that is a big red flag for me. So just to give you one last example, here's another watch that does EKG. Okay, I'm going to come here and press the button. There's the chart. There's the two electrodes. As long as I put them on my body and I touch around the periphery, the metal periphery, I get a heart wave. If I take my fingers and I move them, it changes. You see that? This heart wave that's being demonstrated on the watch itself and would transfer over to its associated tethering app will be exactly what you saw there. And it's based on the three-point connection made with the watch. It's not something I would just touch the screen and get a heart wave. All right, I think you see where I'm going with this. My apologies for putting the first one up. I was giving them a benefit of a doubt that it was just a firmware fix that needed to happen, but it's beyond that right now. Don't know what this is, but this is not EKG. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back again soon.